Welcome ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to uh, solve this absolute value equation. And to do that, remember when we're looking at solving absolute value equations, we got to understand that the value inside this absolute value could be positive or it also could be negative. Again, look at my case in point. Absolute value of x is equal to x and absolute value of negative x is equal to x. So therefore, it doesn't matter if my variable is positive or negative. I'm still going to get the same answer. Now, of course, we have this variable multiplied by 2 and added um, by 3 in this case. But again, we still want to make sure that um, we can determine what would it be for the positive and the negative. So to do that, we create two cases. And the first case is that my variable is positive. So I say 2y plus 3 equals 11. And the second case is my variable is negative. So I write 2y plus 3 equals negative 11. So we say it equals the positive value, or it's going to equal a negative value. Then we solve for both of them. So I subtract 3, subtract 3. 2y equals positive 8. Divide by 2, divide by 2. y equals 4. OK? Um, I can always go back, take that um, value, and plug it into my equation. 2 times 4 is going to be positive 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. Absolute value of 11 is obviously 11. Go ahead and subtract again. Subtract 3, subtract 3. That was a really weird 2. 2y is equal to a negative 14. Divide by 2, divide by 2. y equals a negative 7. Again, take a negative 7, plug it in here. I have 2 times negative 7, which is negative 14. Um, add 3, which would be a negative 11. Absolute value of a negative 11 is, again, a positive 11. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I have now solved the absolute value equation. Thanks.